Today we're gonna ride the bus. Let's see where this bus goes today. Rock and roll. All right, guys, we're riding the bus. Where it goes, nobody knows. We're gonna ride all the way to the end. Let's check it out. Hey, 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 Vern. All right, so this is the drop off right here. And it looks like the bus does a loop here. And then maybe there's a bus stop just right over here for the pickup to go back. All right, yep, that's where you go back, right there. So this is the last stop for the DJI bus. All right, so we're past the end of the bus stop. And now we're walking south. And this is where all the really nice resorts are at. South of where the bus will drop you off. So now I'm just trying to find how to get down below here and start walking. Now we got a little creek in here. So I guess we go back up this way, kind of getting twisted around here. So it looks like you have a nice view up there, up on the hill. I may go up there a little later. All right, so you got some resorts up on the left-hand side here. The Ambassador.
likes to be some really nice tennis and soccer courts, places to play. You got a group of people want to hang out. Looks to be some kind of an overview lookout up there. See it? All right, so we're gonna go down. Gonna follow the ocean a little bit. Now, if you look on a map, it's almost like it's this big U-shaped area in here, right around Valor. And the hotels are on about one third of the U shape heading away from Vlor City. And then the cliffs seem to be really steep to where they meet the ocean. So there's not as many places along that part. All right, hopefully we can go through here. I don't know why this is all gated off here. Now it looks like it's under construction. I guess we can't go through this part. I'm gonna have to go up by the highway and walk across. So back to where we came from. So it's been about 38 degrees here in the morning and the wind is cooking again, just like when I went to the monastery. So I can't imagine it's a lot warmer today. There looks to be some steps going up to that overlook. Might not be a bad thought to check that out once I come back this way. I bet this is just incredible in the summertime. The waters are amazing. They're just pristine here. Look at that. Beautiful blue-green water. Just wonderful. Used to be a little sandstone here also. We got a restaurant right into the hillside here, it looks like. It's too bad this place isn't open. I would have come in here, done a video on this place. Looks really interesting. It's right inside the cave. Huh. Well, that's too bad. That is just too bad. had a little pond out here some statues ah, that's too bad I hate to see unique places like this just go away they're far and few in between Wow look all the way up there that house that's riding the edge of that cliff <laughs> not a place I would be sandstone's pretty unforgivable it's always letting loose whatever that goes up to should we check it out interesting there's a cave or something up here, I don't know. This whole beaten up stairway. Well, looks like it goes to the top of the cliff here. Sure. I gotta take a breath. Oh, just what I need. All right. Whew. Let's see where this last bit goes. Oh wow! Check it out. Some caves that are caved in.
Let's see where it goes. So a seat here. Let's see where we're at. be a private gate right there that's where we came up all right so we'll go back down so that's real interesting these caves that are here Looks like there was maybe something more significant in that one right there. See the big rocks that fell down in there? I have a feeling that probably went back a ways. Beautiful area up here. If you get a chance, check it out. It's really amazing country. To be here in the warm weather and to really take your time would be totally amazing. I don't think anybody's been up here in a long time. Definitely nobody's been up here to clean these steps off. So you gotta go slow. Could be a little slippery. You don't wanna come tumbling down here. Nobody's gonna find you if you hurt yourself here. So take your time. So I'd imagine at one time this was a pretty happen in place. You would go up to your resort, walk down the stairs to the bar, and hobble your way back up to your room. That was pretty unique, being inside of a limestone cliff like that. Would have loved to see the inside of that place. I'm gonna have to look online, see if there's some photos of it. The sad thing in life is you get people that build these really cool places, and only they have the vision. And after they pass on or get too old to hold on to that vision, it's hard to find somebody that will come along and pick up that same torch with the same vigor that they held. So oftentimes these places will just go into ruins and then vanish, only to be a memory in time. So this was just a happenstance type of a thing. I didn't plan to come here, didn't know anything about it. Just, oh yeah, look at that. That looks interesting, let's walk over there. So I wonder what these are, if these are like, I wonder if these are like a giant guava. What are these? If you guys recognize them, let me know. Kind of looks like a giant guava. What are they? Do you guys know? So this is what we were looking at earlier through the fence. Looks like they're doing a little road construction here on this boardwalk area. Maybe putting some trees in. We've got to kind of walk off to the road here since the walkway is all under construction. So hopefully we'll be okay. Yeah, not so cool. It's only one car can pass at a time, so these people try to race to be that one car through here. Speed Speedway here. Yeah, they ride pretty close too. Really digging this section up. No small task. All right, we got some guys working. <laughs> to be doing a lot of building in this area. Some new buildings up in here. Looks to be like they're building also a new pier out there. See that? That'll be real nice for the people. All right, so let's get a back look at the construction they're doing here. Check this out, I've never seen this. So it looks like they're digging these holes for these trees, but it almost looks like they have some water pipes going in there to water the trees also. It's a Rias, you guys. If you don't like pizza, don't come here. They eat a lot of fast food too. I'm not sure there is a lot of traditional food, 
I'm still trying to source that out. But the people I seem to talk to tell me that Albanians love fast food. So if you're not a fast food fan, I don't know what to tell you. So this is pretty interesting. It looks like they have a tunnel that goes through here. See it? Maybe we'll walk through there. Maybe we go around it. I'm not sure. I guess we'll find out. The New York Hotel with some flags represented here. So a closer look at these lines. It looks like one must be a water fitting. See the blue end on there? And the other might be an electrical. All right, so there's our tunnel. It doesn't look as, as big or as far back as I thought from the angle I was looking at before. It looked really dark and ominous from way back there, but here it doesn't look so bad. All right, guys, I guess we're going in. The tunnel of love, here we go. Oh, let's check this out first. Let's see what this is. Huh. Hello. <laughs> is good water? Wow, they're filling up their water. Is good water? Water good? Good? Ah, cool. Oh. Ah, try? Ah, he wants me to try the water. Ah, okay. Ah, okay. <laughs> Let's see. Ah. Okay. Yeah, whoa, up. Oh. Wow, wow. That's good. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Ah, Whew. good. That's very good. So he had me try the water here. That was really good water. Wow. Thank you, Thalaman Derrett. Oh, that was nice. Check it out. Let's see if they got a pipe or they just get it raw. Let's see. Wow, they just dip it in there. Maybe it's an artesian spring. Wow. Very cool. All right. You are my best feeling. Here we go, best feeling. Coming through the tunnel. In the tunnel of love. Is that how Bruce Springsteen sang it? All right, got a guy coming up, so we're gonna have to let him pass around us here. speed bump here they got to slow down over it's kind of good people drive very fast here so it kind of holds things down we're almost out just like giving birth here we come ready or not boom back to abnormality 1912 to 2012, that was their anniversary. Used to be a rocky beach here. So you see these concrete barriers here? These keep the waves from going, from going at an angle to the beach and that's what sucks the sand out. So if you have these staggered like this, it helps to bring in sand instead of take it out. Otherwise the sand gets stripped off the beaches.
Very beautiful here. Very beautiful. I could see swimming here in the summertime. So I asked the guy if the water was good and he gave me this big gulp out of his jug, kind of poured it into my mouth. I kind of wanted to take just a sip, but when he's pouring the thing and you're choking it down, well, hopefully I don't get diarrhea from that. So anyway, if I get sick, I'll know why. Anyway, there's a partial resort or an old resort up here. Looks pretty cool. It's in a prime location. I kind of wonder what the deal is with it. So look at this place. This is the one I'm talking about up on the corner here. What a great location. I'll have to see if I can poke around that place if it's open. to be something back in there and then there looks like a little footpath bridge. Right, let's see if we can see beyond here. We lost our beach walk. Turn into this government piece of property here it looks like around seeing where I can put my drone up. So I want to walk the beach a little bit more. I'll try to pop up that drone. It's windy, but if I get up higher, I won't have to go up so high. That's the thought anyway for today. Let's see if we can cross here. People go pretty fast through here. So you got to be careful. All right, I want to see how far this landlock goes. That's where we're cut away. I'm going to poke up here. If I feel comfortable, I'll put the drone up. If not, I won't. I'll go down farther. All right, so we're back to handheld action. So I tried to put the drone up, and it turned out that the area I was in was a restricted governmental area. So that was unfortunate. So now we're back to handheld mode. So I'll show you some of the areas here. Looks to be a pretty nice place here. I walked around the bend. So we'll have a look and see what we got. So it sure is nice to have the sun shining again. Makes it real nice. This is a pretty popular strip, a lot of traffic, so you're gonna hear a lot of road noise going up and down this stretch. So this road runs up and down the coast. We're headed south on foot. Took the bus as far as it could go, and now we're gonna take a nice long walk. See what's down here. So there's an example. They got their own tennis court. So on the south end of town, that's where all the nice places are. That's where we're headed. More building here. Not sure what that was broadcasting. They do that a lot in the Philippines. They'll drive by broadcasting stuff also. And it's hard to hear because they go by so fast. Pretty damn narrow sidewalk. Look at this. There it is but it's better than no sidewalk. <laughs> it's just not much of one. <laughs> yeah, even if I did get my drone up today, look what it's fighting. It's fighting this wind. The area I found was nice and sheltered, but it ended up being a restricted zone. It wouldn't let me fly, and I'm like, okay, well, I guess I don't fly there. So I'm hoping to pop it up at least one time today. We'll see what happens. A nice place that they're building a little work on it's real nice get a view of the hillside now too from here see what i'm seeing beautiful could you imagine living up on that hill having a view of the ocean that'd be incredible that would really be incredible a market close by so that's even more key so there's no buses per se that run up here that i'm aware of but i believe there is a minivan i saw a guy got on a van so i'm thinking there's going to be something up here somewhere that's what i'm kind of looking for Look at this water from up here, just incredible. Let me give you a shot here, guys. This is really something from up here. Wow, oh my gosh. Look at the color. If 
you were going to hitchhike, this would be an interesting road to hitchhike down. I'm not that daring, but if I was, I would be here. Oh, I love the color. That's just so incredible. Just look at that for hours. Somebody died on that bridge. It's pretty sad. They get hit in a car. They jump. I don't know. Might want to look up that guy. See what happened. So this restaurant up here, I think we're gonna try that after I get done walking and I come back check this place out. They got a walk down to the beach, looks pretty nice. We're gonna eat here today. Let's see if they're open. Looks like they got enough stairs. So you get to the beach. Stop terminus. Maybe you have to pay to get down. Or they got a dog, I don't know. All right, so they're closed now. But this is the place here. I'll show you guys. Well, everything's out of season, so it doesn't make a lot of sense to stock up on things when there's not enough people to cater to. So the hotel's open, but the restaurant's not, I see. Some more steep stairs. <laughs> All right, let's see what we got. It's got a nice railing, though. I don't feel so bad. I don't know, as I get older, steep areas kind of bother me a little more. When I'm younger, it wasn't such a big deal, but I think I realize my mortality the older I get. Take a few, few fewer risks. Maybe you're like me. Maybe you just throw caution to the wind and just rock and roll. I don't know, I just don't take it for granted anymore. I think life teaches you to respect things a little bit more the longer you're on this earth. You realize how much a gift life really is. So I don't get to read a lot of literature, but I remember Walt Whitman wrote a book called Leaves of Grass. Now here's a guy in the end season of his life writing about some of the simplest things. And I think that's where life really begins. The older you get, you learn to appreciate the smallest things and not take them for granted as much as you did when life was faster paced. I think that's important to know the season that you're in and to understand it.
so clear. So here the beach is more of a fine pebble type beach, which is okay. I'm not that picky on how fancy a beach is as long as it gets me to the water. Some people are so particular. If it isn't white sand, they're not happy. Not me, I don't care if it's black sand. When I was on Maui, and I seen the black sand beaches and how beautiful that was, that was fine with me. How about you? Are you really particular about your sand? Does it have to be white? Let me know. Nice to look at some of the gravels, see what you can find. Different stuff in here. get it wet then you can really spot the different colors if it's dry not so much I just spent hours looking for agates different rocks and stuff so I'd imagine the natives would pick through the rocks here looking for different things that they could round out and make make their fancy beads from All right, we're heading back. Shouldn't be too much longer now. Hey, 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 Vern.